Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have an offering from Golden Mate. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. puts out 12.8 volts and it has a capacity of 20 amp hour. So I'm very excited about this. That's 256 watt hours of capacity. I wanna say thank you right off the bat to Golden Mate for sending this battery out for review. Now at the time of me filming this video, you can pick this battery up for about $70. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Now this battery has a built-in battery management system, which is really cool. It's a 20 amp uh, BMS. It also accepts anywhere from four all the way up to 10 amps of charge input. Now here on the side, you can see some specifications of the battery on the package. So feel free to pause your screen if you wanna hang on to any of that information. There's the side of the package and then here's the other side. So very cool, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. Now one thing that I wanna say right off the bat, when you're dealing with a battery like this, you don't want to lay it on its back or, or face down or upside down. You want to have the top of this up. As you can see, it comes packaged really nice, very well protected, and that is a look at the battery. Pretty nice looking little battery there. There's the side, there's the front. I like how they put all the information on the front of the package. Very nice, there's a look at the bottom. These are sealed batteries, so you don't have to worry about any kind of maintenance on these. They last a tremendous amount of time. A battery like this can go from anywhere from 2,000 cycles all the way up to about 7,000 cycles, and that depends on the depth of discharge. So if you only draw this thing down to like 50% and then you charge it back up, you'll get that 7,000 cycles out of it. If you draw it down like 80%, and then you recharge it and you'll get 4,000 cycles. And then if you draw it down like all the way down, every time, 100% uh, depth of discharge, you'll get only 2,000 cycles. But even at the lowest amount of cycles of 2,000 cycles, if you count that into days and you do the math of 365 days a year, that's 5.4 years at 100% depth of discharge. That is just absolutely fantastic. Now, if you only go down halfway and then you stretch that thing out to 7,000 cycles, folks, that's 19 years of runtime and that's going under the assumption that you're charging it every single day 365 days out of the year that is just crazy so it says right here 14.4 volt and 14.6 is the max voltage and then again charge current you can go from anywhere from 4 amp to 10 amp like i mentioned earlier it does have a discharge current of 20 amp so the bms supports 20 amps of discharge very nice battery. I think this is a good battery for solar stuff. Like if you've got a couple solar panels and you want to do a small off-grid system, you know, very light duty stuff, maybe you want to run a laptop or something, you could run that for a couple hours on a battery like this. It would also be good for marine type applications if you're on a boat because water is not going to get in there. This thing is water resistant. It's got a pretty good rating for that. If you're in a van, you're driving around and you are limited on space and you don't want to have a big old battery that's taking up a bunch of space or something that's heavy, you can get a small battery like this and use it for charging all your gadgets and devices. 
cameras and stuff like that GoPro if you're out on a sailboat say for example or if you're in a van or traveling or maybe you're an off-grid person and you got like a, a little micro house or something and you want to just do basic things like lights and run a laptop and just light duty stuff this would be a good battery for that you, you could also use a battery like this for storing energy so pretty cool if you're a ham radio person maybe you're on a search and rescue team and you want to set up a, a portable ham radio station and you want to run your your radios and stuff you could do a, a, a battery like this it's small and it's not going to be too heavy to carry around it's very portable and mobile you can also use it for running lights at camp uh, if you got lights in your house that you want to do or for me as a youtuber i think this would be a good battery because i can take this thing out it's not heavy it's pretty dang light it only weighs what 5.3 pounds so i could carry that thing anywhere i go and charge my cameras run my cameras charge my gopros uh, things like that without taking a big old bulky heavy battery now the dimensions of this thing it's 7.13 inches tall it is 6.57 wide and the depth of this battery is 3.01 inches not too bad now you can use this battery for a lot of applications but it's not to be used for starting vehicles it is not a starting battery you want to make sure that on a battery like this that you don't get it below freezing so the ideal operating temperature for a battery like this even though it says it here in centigrade if we convert that over to Fahrenheit we, we, we need to be above freezing so 32 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to about 122 degrees now this battery is pretty cool because it, it can sit for up to a year with no charging needed no uh, maintenance or anything and then you could pull it out and and it's still going to hold that voltage very cool little battery now this battery does have lots of protection systems it has overcharge over discharge over current over heat short circuit and it has high and low temperature protection as well so very nice this is a nice little battery let's go ahead and take a look at this user manual right here is all of our information for this battery so again feel free to pause your screen there are the product specifications there's some things that you need to pay attention to right here there's the dimensions of the battery, which I talked about. And you can also run four of these in parallel or in series. So that's pretty cool. If you want to increase your capacity, you can absolutely run multiple of these batteries. And I think that's pretty cool. So if you have any service needs or after sale stuff service-wise, there is the QR code there's a couple more uses that you can use this battery for and one would be like those little uh, car toys that kids run you know like them little power wheels you can use a battery like this and something like that you can also use it for video surveillance cameras and stuff that you might have around your house so it's a small battery easy to put in a in a small area where it's discreet you can hide this behind maybe a planter or something and run those cameras so at this point i'm going to hook it up to this power inverter this is a sine wave inverter 2000 watt sine wave inverter now of course with this being such a small battery i'm not going to run it that hard i'm just going to do light duty things using this battery but let me just show you that this battery has the ability to run things like that I like this uh, these posts on here those are nice posts they did a really good job so let's go ahead and hook up the negative terminal right there make sure that I'm biting that that clamp there or that there's that one and now when I connect the positive it might spark a little bit because it has to charge the capacitors in the power inverter okay we got lucky and we didn't have a spark so that's good 
Let's go ahead and tighten this side up. So at this point, we have our power inverter connected to this battery. And from here, we can turn this on. And you can see that the power inverter is running. Now we'll get a few things to test it with. So here is just a small light. I'm just gonna plug that in and I'll turn it away from the camera so we don't blind the camera, but you turn the light on and it says I'm pulling about 35 watts. So no problem running a light. It works pretty good for that. Of course, I could use the USBs on my power inverter here to charge phones, cameras, GoPros, all those types of things and it would work with no problem. I'm gonna try some different lights. I have a light that has, it's in fact, it's the light that's running right now. You're gonna probably notice that it's gonna go dim for a second. That is this light behind me. It's got two of these lights. So I just plugged it in and now I'm drawing 95 watts out of this battery. So as you can see, the battery has no problem running 96 watts. Now if I turn this on, it bumps it up to 122 watts, so no problem there. It's working just fine, as intended. Okay, this next application, I'm going to move this to the side a little bit. And what I want to do is I have my little charger unit here, and this is to charge my X-Star. So I'm going to plug this in, and let's get that solar generator put right there, and we will plug it in and see if we can start charging this as well. As you can see, we are now bringing in 82 watts, 79 watts. So in total, through the inverter, I'm bringing about 200 watts of output. So that's fantastic. The battery is doing just fine. I'm running this light, and then I'm running two more, just like this, that are on a stand behind me. I'm running this at 71 watts and it's doing all of those tasks with no problems and that's the type of things that this battery is designed to do. So this Golden Mate battery is doing absolutely fantastic for what it's designed for. I really like it, you know, 69 watts so I'm able to charge my power station here uh, using this battery. I'm drawing 187 watts right now as I'm looking at this screen on the side of the inverter. 190 right now. So I'm uh, pretty impressed with the battery. I think it's working very well. And uh, for light duty applications, I think it's a really nice little battery. Another cool application that I think would be a good fit for this battery is to run something like this H calorie diesel heater. I think something like this would really do well on a battery like this. I think that'd be a good use for it. So here I have a small off-grid system. This is a 25 watt panel. It's disconnected right now from the charge controller. But these white wires in my hand on top, those are the wires that go to the power inverter right there. And then these black wires, these are the ones that will go to charge the battery from the charge controller. So hooking these wires up to a small battery like this would give me a nice little 500 watt off-grid system. So this is just another application to keep in mind for a small battery like that. I think it would work really good for that little Golden Mate battery. Now here we're looking at a size comparison between a standard 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery and this little small 20 amp battery. This one is a lot heavier than this one it's it's much smaller if you look at the thickness you know width wise this one's almost as wide as this one is thick so very big differences between those two batteries as far as size is concerned and if you're looking for a larger battery of bigger capacity golden may also offers 100 amp 200 amp capacity batteries as well they have lots of things to look at on their website. Well, folks, my final thoughts on this battery are very simple. This battery is working very well. It's running these two lights here, this light. It's charging my uh, solar generator. 
it's doing great for small uh, light duty applications if I so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video and if you're interested in this battery I will make sure to put a link in the description box down below so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a beautiful day we'll see you on the next one bye for now